Kansas City Chiefs taking on the Miami Dolphins. Strap in the first of three on this Sunday. What a day we have in store. Super Wild Card Weekend on EA Sports. And no run back on the opening kickoff. It'll come out to the 25. And Mahomes going to put it up right away. That's complete. It's Travis Kelsey. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Here's Jarek McKinnon, his first carry of the ball game. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. They go play fake. Mahomes. That swung out wide to Harris. Now he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Call it a gain of three on the play. And third and eight now. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back and it can turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. Throwing his Mahomes on third. That's complete to Tony. And he'll only get this to about the 44 as they stop him short of the line to gain. It'll go as a gain of four. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. What we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. you got to go up and make the tackle right away. He sets to fire deep. And he backs it away, and it falls down incomplete. The Chiefs tried it, but they're turned away on fourth down. And this defense delivers a turnover on downs on the very first drive of the afternoon. So good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their own 44. And now they'll shift things around. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. That ball caught. It's Mark Andrews, the tight end. First catch of this wild card game for a 1,000-yard receiver in the regular season. He's got a first down, too. shot here on the ground. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. A 12-yard touchdown run. And the Dolphins will strike first here in this wild card matchup. So he takes him just three 
two plays here to find the end zone. And you remember, of course, this was all set up by their defense. Yeah, they got the stop on fourth down, so I imagine the offense said to their defense, thank you very much for this great starting field position. And like you said, three plays later, they're in the end zone. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and it's now a 7-0 game. The kicking team out for Miami as they will send this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And a drive that stalled out last time. Went for it on fourth, didn't get it. How does that translate here? I would imagine momentum's with the defense. Definitely with the defense, because anytime anyone goes for it on fourth down, that's telling you as a defense that they, you can't stop us. We don't think that you can. And when you actually do, that may put a little dent in the confidence of the offense the next time they hit the field. Yeah, we'll see if they can bring that pride to the offense this go around. Here's Mahomes to throw. And he'll throw this one away. I don't think he's out of the pocket. No, here comes the flag. Now, we saw it, too. Nobody in the vicinity of that throw, and that earns him the penalty. Yeah, you've got to at least get it close enough to one of your own guys in order to dodge the penalty. So now it's third and long, because remember, they also lose a down on the grounding call. To throw, it's Mahomes. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And he's going to get this on down to the 13-yard line. And they'll take possession already in the red zone and in a great spot to add points to the scoreboard. And, Brandon, how many times have we seen a defense with a lot of field behind them get even more aggressive, right? They feel like they've got them not pinned down, but in a favorable spot for them. And they took advantage of it there, got a nice interception, and set up their offense in great shape. Hands it off out of the gun. And he will take it in for the Dolphins touchdown. A great effort there with his second touchdown in this opening corner. And the Dolphins are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. McCall Hardman to return it from his end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. They've been a come-from-behind team all year. They'll need to do it again as they trail early in this wild card game. Balluting the pressure right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And that's caught inside the 35. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Marquez Valdez-Scantling, 81 yards. And the Chiefs are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. They were already down two scores early. They needed something to try to stem that tide, and that certainly qualifies a big play to get them in the end zone. It qualifies indeed because, let's face it, they don't get something done on this drive, turn it back over. This game could be 88 and out the gate early. What? 88 and out the gate? Yeah. What's that? Well, listen, I used to hear my old man talk about it. It usually meant that thing's done. Oh, well, now that they got the touchdown, it's it's not 88 now at the gate. We still got a good game going ahead of us. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. Well, this offense looks like they have a little extra pep in their step as they take the field here for drive number three because, remember, Charles, drives one and two both ended in the end zone. 
Yeah, and right now they've just got to be careful not to lean into overconfidence because every drive has a life of its own. But I like the way that they've started, the way that they're going about doing things right now. They've got a chance for that third consecutive touchdown, and that would be a crushing blow to the defense. Here's a ball thrown right side and complete. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. Give them 32 on the play. Big plays always wind up being a big theme as we get rolling in these playoffs and the defenses that can avoid giving them up. But they're the teams that tend to go far. You may not eliminate those big plays, but if you can limit them, then you've got a chance to get to the ultimate game. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. There they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. A great play there. Doing it again with his third touchdown here in the opening quarter. And the Dolphins go up by two touchdowns. Boy, still in the first quarter. And look out. I mean, they are on pace for over 80 points in this game. I don't know that they'll get there, CD, but this has been impressive to watch so far. That certainly would be history in the making, wouldn't it, partner? I'm glad we're here to actually watch and see if it actually happens. Although, like you, I have my doubts, but they are firmly in control of this game. A pretty wild first quarter. 21-7, our score. Kicking team out for Miami as they will send this one away. And they're going to mark that where it went out of bounds. So really good starting field position up past the 40-yard line. Yellow. The Chiefs in good position to start out as they come up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. From the gun, they will run with McKinnon. And he's going to ball his way forward to the 48. Here's second and three. They go play action. Now Mahomes. A throw out wide going to be incomplete. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. And I don't think he got there. No. He's short by maybe a foot. Maybe. Call it fourth and inches. And no move to get the offense off the field. Despite failing once, they're going to go again here on fourth down. They'll go for it. It's Mahomes. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. Andy Reid went for it, but it won't pan out. And this defense will take over right near midfield at the 49-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Right now, everything they touch turns to gold. This is their fourth possession. Touchdowns on their first three possessions. I mean, this defense, they can't seem to stop them. It's like they're on skates. Great analogy, Brandon, because they are pushing them back and winning everything at the line of scrimmage. They've just been laying down tracks towards the opposite end zone. So to themselves, all they're saying is, if we don't make a mistake, there's no way they can stop us. Second and 11. Flush to his right. Now throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. As soon as I saw him break contain and get outside, my first thought and my eyes gravitated downfield because nowadays, most of these quarterbacks, when they do that, they want the big play downfield. They don't want to throw it short. In this case, he took the shot. It fell incomplete. 
On third down, he'll drop to throw. A short throw caught by Andrews. And they will get this across midfield, but still well short of the first as he's dropped at the 46. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And that's going to make it fourth down. Oh, they're changing this at the line. Waddle, the motion man, right. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted through the middle of the field. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. So they go on fourth down. Not only do they not get it, it turns into six points the other way. Disastrous. And many people think you should just go ahead and knock it down in that situation. Turn it over for the offense. But I had a defensive coordinator recently tell me, we see that as a passive play. We don't do that anymore. We want the ball in our hands, and we want to head the other way. It's probably also instinct a lot of times. If you see a lot of green grass ahead of you, go ahead and grab it. It's the exact right play to do. That's knowing when to break the rules and when to make a play that maybe you hadn't been taught. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines. And now the rookie's free. Now he's loose again. Inside the 10. And all the way in for the Miami touchdown. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They trail early on the road in the playoffs. Not a great combination as they've got it first and ten. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And this one too low. You tell they wanted to get that ball downfield. They had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up being complete. Here's second and ten. Now they'll bring Tony in motion left. Now whistles and a flag down. Looked like one of the chief linemen might have moved. So after the penalty, heading in the wrong direction, second and 15. Motion man right is Rice. Mahomes now to throw. Open man here, it's the tight end, Kelsey. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. His second catch of this wild card game, and it goes for a first down. Straight ahead they go with McKinnon. Yeah, get it across the 35, it'll be second down. 
Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Now here's Mahomes. Got an open man. It's Valdez Scandling. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Hey, 43, 43, 15. On play action, it's Mahomes. Oh, everything falling apart now. Another one intercepted. Jacory and Bennett has it. And the Dolphins are going to get the football here at their own 40-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. They'll start at the 40, so great starting field position following the interception. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. 19, Tiger, 19, Tiger. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts. As they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Waddle the motion man right. They'll look to throw now on first down. Flushed out right. That ball complete to Isabella. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. They'll look to throw here on first down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent. And that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. So third down now. They need the 27-yard line for a first. And now an audible here into something else. He'll look to throw. Forced out to his left. And they're going to find the open man. That's complete. Touchdown. And he is a ball. 33 yards. And the Dolphins continue to show why it pays to play at home in the postseason as they add on to their lead. Sanders now to add the extra point. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. I don't think they need to be reminded of the situation here. I mean, the clock is dwindling. Three-score deficit waiting for them at halftime unless they can get something on the board here before intermission. Open man downfield is Hardman. He's got it. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. Yellow, yellow. So the big play moves them all the way across midfield. Yellow. It's first and 10 from the 45. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout. 
So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Mahomes now on first down. Caught Kelsey, left side. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. So first and 10 now from the 30. Throwing now is Mahomes. A pass complete downfield. It's Valdez Scantling. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. A well-executed 22-yard gain. In motion right is Tony. Yellow. Yellow. Now Mahomes. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. Mahomes to throw on second down. And Mahomes misfires again, and it's intercepted. Brandon Jones picking it off. And he's into the clear. for this team to advance. It had to get a big performance from this unit, and to this point, they've delivered. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and the route is on here in this first half. So just eight ticks remaining here in the first half as they'll kick this one away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And with Mahomes under center, anything's possible. Watch out for the deep ball. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with the short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. And now a timeout defensively after that first down play. So they're going to make this offense sweat out half number one. And you see the clock almost empty, so this is likely the last play in the second quarter. Final shot before the half for Mahomes. Escaping the pressure right. This ball deep for Tony. This is caught inside the 15. And he will step out of bounds all the way down at the five-yard line. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Both 
Teams try to avoid being one and done in these playoffs as we start the second half of this AFC wild card game. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And they're in the position they expected to be in. They've got the lead, home crowd behind them, and they're looking toward making that next step in these playoffs. And I think a key for them is to put together some good, long, extended drives. Work to run it a little more with that big offensive line. I'm not saying get away from throwing the football. That's still working. But if they run it more effectively, they may get even bigger plays in the passing game. Second and 14. This is Chase Claypool on the receiving end. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. 28 yards the gain there on the catch and run. This is just more of the same. This defense has had no answer on a lot of these throws. They've let these receivers run wild. And here's another completion for good yardage. On first down, he'll drop to throw. He'll let this go deep for Waddle. In a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Mike Edwards picks it off. And the Chiefs are going to take possession here as they've got it at their own four-yard line. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. They take over here following the interception. That's the good news. The tough spot is the spot that they're in. That's inside the five in the shadow of their own goalpost here. First and ten. And he'll be taken down, but they've got this one up to the 35-yard line. Much more room to operate under after the big play. Here's first and ten. Well, Mahomes can't get away, and down he goes. And quickly, they get to the line. On second down, here's Mahomes. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Mahomes going to throw. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Ja'Cory and Bennett has it. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Dolphins touchdown. And Charles, for this offense, those interception rules they kind of had in the first half have now followed them into the second half. And for this defense, they take advantage, turn that into a pick six. And that defense is in a spot now where they're thinking about ways to close this game out. As confidently as they've been playing, I expect him to do exactly that. Sanders on for the extra point. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. They'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone. So we will start here at the 25. Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable. Now, a win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles, but... 
don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto until the clock runs out. But, Brandon, we've been around this game a long time. This is an outlier. You don't get many blowouts like this no matter how the game looks on paper going in. This one has turned out to be everyone's worst nightmare realized. So they saw the contact before the ball arrived. Penalty flag for pass interference. And trying to avoid pass interference is so difficult. You're trying to slow down these skilled receivers, and somehow, some way, they make plays on the football, and sometimes you're there too soon. Now a throw for the all-pro Kelsey is complete. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Mahomes now on first down. This will be caught inside the 10. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. And a nice pick up there. He gets about five down to the four-yard line. Hat tip to that offensive line. They're clearing some holes, even down here deep in the red zone. And that's a nice pick up on the ground on first and goal. And that is caught for the touchdown, Kansas City. Kadarius Tony from four yards out. And the Chiefs are able to at least get one score back. Now Mahomes to the line as the Chiefs are going to go for the two-point try. Mahomes will throw for it. And he will get into the end zone to cut the lead a little bit further. Chiefs, 22. I guess the last score wasn't enough for them. They want more. Here comes an onside kick. And the Dolphins are going to recover. Well, CD, you understand. I mean, they're so eager trying to get back in this game here in the fourth quarter, but they touched that one a little too early before it went 10 yards. Brandon, in such a high-stakes scenario, everyone's feeling the pressure on this play. The special teams coordinator, which one is he going to pick in terms of kicks? Can the kicker execute it? Can the team wait for 10 yards? So many variables, and in this case, they didn't get it done. From the gun, he'll hand this off. Nothing doing. Barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. And here's a handoff out of the gun. And he'll take this close to a first down at the Chiefs 29. And the offense moving quickly to the line. That's a gain of six. Makes it third and two. Come back team. Come back team. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. One quarter remains for the right to survive round one here in the AFC. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20.
Now with the play clock down to two, we're going to get a timeout here. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. Let's go now. Now a handoff looking right. And he lost the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. But he has been a workhorse for them in this game. And ball security hasn't been an issue until that point. Yeah, and let's face it. When he's going to carry the ball that many times, he becomes more and more of a target for the defense, knowing that he's going to be the primary guy. They'll just send more and more players towards him, trying to make sure they knock the ball. Off. And oh my goodness, here's a fifth interception. Picked up by Cam Smith. And he's able to get it back here to the 43-yard line. The Dolphins take over first and 10 at the 43-yard line. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And Nick Bolton there on the tackle. A nice run right there. And we talk this time of year about certain teams, certain players who don't have a lot of postseason history to speak of. And here's a man right here in his rookie season in the NFL, and he's being asked to carry the load at running back for this offense. And he has acquitted himself nicely here in his rookie year. And look, I think we both believe that the burden's a little lighter on backs and receivers. It is our quarterbacks in the playoffs. But that's not to say this is going to be easy. As fast as the NFL game is in the regular season, it's like warp speed when you turn pressure up in the postseason. So let's see how he handles things early. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and ten from the ten. They'll set up a throw. This is caught. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Second and two. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked up by Justin Reed. And the Chiefs are going to have the football at their own one-yard line. First and ten at their own one-yard line. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And they are most likely staring at a cold end of their season here in this wild card round. Nothing has gone right so far. And they are, to be frank, in desperation mode now as they begin with a first and ten. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. Now a second and ten. In his own end zone, it's Mahomes. And Mahomes is going to go down in the end zone, and that is going to be a safety. Things are just going from bad to worse now. It's a safety that does them in here, and that is one frustrated offensive unit. They can't get out from under their own shadow right now. I mean, I know this is the NFL, but could you imagine a college crowd right now? Man, what they'd be doing? <laughs> they'd be chanting, start the bus, because they think this one is over. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. It's a big play there for Miami. 47 yards. Back to throw now on first down. A quick throw there he is incomplete. A CD, they're up big, but they're still passing it. I mean, this is an offense that's had a lot of success in this game, and it seems like they're just having fun out there. And it does feel like there's been a shift out there, doesn't it, partner? Listen, if you're up, you can continue to do what you want to do. It's up to the other team to make you change how you do things. 
They'll continue to throw it around until stopped. Well, they're up comfortably here, Charles, but that lead certainly not dissuading them from pressing the envelope late. I mean, if anything, with these passes, it's like they're getting more aggressive to try to drive the ball downfield. And that will certainly lend itself to some post-game questions for that coach. And maybe you and I should attend that press conference to see what he has to say because someone's going to ask him why he continued to push it. My guess, he didn't like how some of the snaps were run earlier. And he wanted to use that as a chance to clean things up. But he certainly will have some explaining to do. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Pass taken in by his good tight end. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 15-yard line. Now they'll change things up. Waddle, the motion man, right. Again, he'll drop to throw. Yeah, that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. Pretty secure lead, but what's the harm in adding another touchdown, right? At least that's what they were thinking on that snap. But if he wants to add more points, got to bring the throw down just a little bit and keep it in the end zone. They'll look to throw again. And give him another six. It's caught for a touchdown. And the blowout continues. And look, this is a team, Charles. They faced adversity all year long. They had to fight and draw to win that division. But they're putting it all together here in the wild card game. It feels like a statement, doesn't it? An absolute statement game. A message to the top seeds. Overlook us at your own We're pretty darn good. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Set now to kick this one away and off it goes. Hardman going to bring it out of the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. But we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing. And my goodness, another interception. Picked up by Xavier Howard. And they take possession two yards away from midfield at the 48-yard line. The Dolphins take over first and 10 at the 48-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. This will be caught. It's Waddle. And he'll go down the line before getting this inside the 30. A good pick up there, 22. to throw here on first down. And this is going to be pulled in by the tight end Andrews. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Sanders now to have the extra point. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. 